Now, I'm not usually one to over-exaggerate, but during my time as a Star Wars YouTuber, I'm yet to read of a battle as chaotic and crazy as the one I'm about to tell you. Shown to us through the rare Star Wars The Clone Wars webcomic titled Act on Instinct, we meet a young Jedi Padawan named Tizen Zebek and a clone commander called Ganch, whose Jedi General, prior to the main events of the story, had been assassinated by the infamous Cad Bane. Following this series of unfortunate events, Mace Windu assigns both Zebek and the Season Commander Gench to a new and more disciplined Jedi General named Keely Van Roos in an attempt to rein in the now turbulent young Padawan. With that said, following him being sent to the planet where he nearly died at the hands of his crazed clone commander, Zebek ultimately humbled himself for the rest of the war. The planet of Yukio was a critical Republic agricultural world that essentially provided rations to and fed the entire clone army. The planet was as a result of this heavily protected and routinely inspected by the Republic in order to ensure that this vital system could not and would not be lost to the Separatist army. With that said, after the Republic commissioned a team consisting of Kit Fisto, Tarzan Zebek, Keely Van Roos, and a contingent of clones including Commander Gench to inspect the planetary shielding system, things did not go as expected. The Separatists had inadvertently coordinated an extremely unorthodox attack on the world of Yukio at the same time of the routine Republic inspection. The Separatists nicknamed their operation Project Extinction, and through the leadership of a modified tactical droid known as the Doctor, they planned to disrupt the Yukian harvest through a series of events that would inevitably result in the CIS controlling the planet. Although the plan seemed foolproof, what the Doctor wasn't expecting was the arrival of the Jedi. Nonetheless, he decided to stick to his plan and see if he could kill some Republic dogs in the process. The Doctor, knowing that conventional strategy simply wouldn't work against the heavily guarded planet of Yukio, engineered a strange and never before seen satellite-like device that began to affect all sentient beings in range, aside from Jedi, by making them act deranged and erratic. When the Jedi started noticing these strange behaviours displayed by the native Yukian as well as their animals, they naturally sent the clones to check it out. The clones, however, also became victim to the strange device, and began turning on each other whilst at the same time trying to fight off the urge to kill. After the young Padawan, Zebek, realises this and sees his commander about to shoot another clone called Squawk, he intervenes and slices through Gench's pistol. This enrages Gench, who is of course still under the influence of the Separatist mind-altering device, leading the usually measured clone commander to assault Zebek with the intention of killing him. After pinning the Padawan down, Zebek manages to inspire doubt into Gensha's mind by telling him that he was not himself and that it was his duty as a soldier to stand down. This seemingly did the trick and Commander Gench came back to reality for just a moment before knocking himself out with a med shot to stop the chaos. A now wounded and shaken Zebek gets up and moves the unconscious Commander Gench to a safer position before embarking on a mission to destroy the Separatist devices he now knew to be the cause of the planet-wide chaos. After managing to destroy 3 out of 3 of the transmitters, Zebek is shortly after shot and injured by the tactical droid previously stated, called the Doctor. As the droid approaches Zebek, ready to land the final blow and end him, it is stopped in its tracks by Zebek's master, Keely Van Roos, and decapitated. After finding out the effects of the transmitter were only temporary, all clones and native Yukians eventually return to their normal states. It was too late for the planet however, and although the Separatists hadn't actually directly succeeded in annexing the world, due to the crisis, Yukio's stock prices plummeted, which led to the Separatist influence commerce skill to buy up the stocks and essentially have economic control over Yukio. Fun fact, this battle had one of the only instances wherein a clone directly attacked the Jedi before Order 66. So what do you guys think of this chaotic battle? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to join the wider intergalactic community and hop onto our website, Discord and Instagram for all the latest memes and behind the scenes shots. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.